Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a floral and herb compound butter. We're going to start out with our yellow pansies. They are so pretty. I love the bright yellow color in the butter. They also are packed with antioxidants and have anti-inflammatory properties. All right, next is lavender. Of course, we're using lavender for that beautiful aroma it adds to our compound butter. This is one of my favorite herbs. Um, I also love that light lavender color that you'll be seeing throughout the butter. It's also very calming um, if you were to use it as in like a tea or a tincture, but it does hint through the butter as well. All right, next, one of my favorite little flowers, the viola. It has a very mild floral flavor. Um, I'm sure that it does have probably some vitamins and trace minerals, but I mainly use this just because it's such a pretty color and I like that floral flavor that it adds. And I'm just picking the new flowers early morning. Now this is a pineapple sage. Be very careful with um, your sages. Some of them are not edible. Um, then we're going to Thai basil. Adds such a nice flavor. You get those hint of basil throughout your butter. And again, I'm just picking the new flowers. And Camille's checking out the harvest. <laughs> So now I have the blue butterfly pea. This is one of my favorite flowers to make tea with. However, we're gonna be using it in the butter today. Um, the blue butterfly pea has so many antioxidants. It's also a good detoxer and makes you happy. All right, snapdragon and sweet marjoram. Um, sweet marjoram has a lot, like a lot, a lot of benefits, but um, one of the main ones is good blood circulation, and it tastes and smells amazing. Lastly, we're going to put in some lemon thyme. This is going to give us that beautiful flavor. It also has a lot of vitamin C, copper, and iron. Give your harvest a good rinse, and then I have unsalted butter. Um, I let it sit out in room temperature and let it melt a little bit. Then I'm going to add my flowers. My petals I'm kind of ripping up into some smaller pieces. Um, you could chop them up if you wanted but this works fine. I don't recommend melting your butter because then your flowers are just going to get very wilty. So my butter is still pretty cool. It's just malleable from sitting out for about two hours. Um, the herbs, I'm not gonna put in the stems. Same with the flowers, just using the petals and leaves. And again, my butter is not completely melted. It's still cool, it's just soft. Um, so once I put all that in, I love how pretty it looks. I love the process of making this butter just as much as I love using it. So once you got all that in, you're gonna give it a really good mix. I rather just do this by hand. Of course, you can use uh, maybe like a food processor or something like that if you're making a large batch. Um, but this right here is two sticks of butter um, with my flowers. Give it a really, really good mix. And if you feel like your butter starts to melt, pop it in the fridge to preserve those flowers. Piece of parchment paper, lay it on out. Then I kind of fold it up and make it into like a little cylinder. This is just gonna help me serve it later and cut it and use it when I'm cooking. Um, I try to make it pretty compact, but it is what it is. Um, go ahead cut your parchment paper and now it's ready to store I put it in the freezer to just get it um, nice and solid again you can keep it in the freezer I mean I keep mine in the freezer for weeks if I'm not going to be using it if it's in the fridge I do try to use it up within like a week or two thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed